Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from MechTech Keyboards. So today we're taking a look at a keyboard from a company I had not yet had a chance to take a look at one of their keyboards. So today we're starting out with the ASIO Cascade 75. Now this is a 75% aluminum top case with a plastic bottom piece. It is an interesting design, floating keys but both the top half of the case has an integrated aluminum plate. So if you like aluminum plates, it's built in. Now, without opening it up, but just knowing how floating key designs are, I've got to assume that there is a tray mounted design and there is absolutely no flex. That said, it is well dampened as it has a poron PCB and plate damper, as well as a silicone case damper. It does come with 0.9 millimeter with ABS double shot shine through keycaps. They're actually not too bad looking, but they are ABS. So there's a possibility they could end up shining sooner rather than later. Other than that, they're an OEM set that it, they match pretty good uh, to the design. I did get the bronze version, and that's the one that I'm taking a look at today, but it also does come in another colorway called Space Gray. As switches, it has four options from the Gatoron G Pro family. The blue, the brown, the yellow, or the red. For this build, we got the Gatoron G Pro Red. The nice thing about the Gatoron G Pros is that they're lubricated from the factory, so you don't have to worry about that. So there is basically no no ping to speak of on this keyboard. Now, things to mention. Um, I've reached out, but I've not heard back as of time of this filming uh, regarding software, but there does not appear to be any software. Now, the user card that comes with it does delineate which keys are mapped so that you do have all the keys available that are on a full-size keyboard, but you're going to have to stay with the key choices that they've made because as of yet i have not found any way to program it either through the keyboard itself and i don't believe there's any software available so if software is necessary for what you do like entering macros and such i would take a second look before considering this keyboard otherwise i've got to say it is very nice it comes with the 4000 milliamp hour battery it is a two mode keyboard so it doesn't have a 2.4 gigahertz dongle but it has a bluetooth 5.0 i was able to connect over bluetooth to both my linux desktop as well as my android tablet quick and easy um, and able to store the devices and as soon as i turn it on it connects almost instantly i personally i like the design of this keyboard um and I think it's pretty good. I've, I've got a thing for floating key designs if it's done right. And I think this one's done right as it has a very interesting case mold. Um, gives a little bit of a retro feel, in my opinion. Um, obviously, the keycaps help with that as well. The fact that it doesn't have software does leave me wanting a little more. I like to program map to different things and it just works with my flow not being able to do that i've got to believe that the mcu is capable of storing a configure an alternate configuration so if there is an ability for asio to add that i think they would up their game and as far as being comparable to what else is available in the market otherwise this keyboard actually sounds pretty good right out of the box the lube switches definitely make a difference just the specs please Today we took a look at the ASIO Cascade 75. This is 75% 84 key, dual mode, 3 and 5 pin, north facing, hot swap PCB. It comes preloaded with your choice of Gateron G Pro switches, blue, brown, yellow, or red, as well as a choice of case color that come in both a space gray and a bronze. It comes preloaded with 0.9 millimeter shine through ABS keycaps and what appears to be an OEM profile. It is a two mode, including USB and Bluetooth 5.0.
It is well dampened with both a poron plate PCB damper and a silicone case damper. It is a floating key design with an integrated plate and top case made from anodized aluminum. It does include screw and stabilizers and a 4000 milliamp hour battery. The weight of this keyboard is 748 grams. The chin sits at 15 millimeters while the back sits at 23 millimeters, providing for a default typing angle of 6 degrees. Raising the first set of feet takes the back up to 26 millimeters, changing the angle of typing to 8 degrees. Using the final set of fold out feet, the back raises to 34 millimeters and the typing degree changes to 14 degrees. Today I'm going to go ahead and leave you with a stock sound test of the ASIO Cascade 75. I uh, do hope you enjoy the sound test. I will be coming back to mod this as I do like the challenge of modding a floating key design. And I like the fact that it has an aluminum top as opposed to a steel one. So I think I can get a really good sound out of it. Let me know your thoughts about this keyboard down in the comments below. Let's get a conversation started. And until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on.